Good morning guys, welcome to the channel. Hey, today's episode, we are going to work on this uh, 2005 Honda Odyssey. In fact, my brother-in-law uh, just brought it in here because uh, his axle on both sides are already pretty bad. So, especially on this side, it's uh, there's a bit of a leak. So we're gonna find out if that's exactly the seal or, or anything else. Could be just a CB itself. So anyways, guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, we're ready to go. We just got the tires off and uh, now we have to uh, get our um, uh, axle nut here. So we have to um, do uh, the pinch uh, nut lock uh, in the process here. I might have to just, just pry it all out because we're not going to use this anymore. So that should be good. There. All right, got a brand new axle nut here for the job. I think it's 26, yeah, oh, 36. We'll just use our air tool here and see how it goes. Nailed in there. Ooh. Wow, this, this thing is not working. Hit it one more time. All right, let's try the Milwaukee here and see uh, if it's going to help us out, but. Uh, That's pretty good. That's awesome. This baby, I gotta get one of this. That's uh, it's a good tool to have. Uh, actually, my brother-in-law owns this one, and uh, yeah, nice tool to have. Definitely, I'm gonna add this into the, the mix. You gotta sacrifice your, uh, where's your nut there? Yeah, I think we gotta use your, uh, yep. we don't have an impact wrench for that. All good. Leave that nut there for now with the bolt. Okay, so, okay before we do that, let's get rid of this. We'll have to remove the brake line here so that we can get at the, uh, the big bolt in the bottom there so we don't have much room. Yeah. Yeah. 
good old breaker bar do the job So, well, uh, we secure with a bungee cord here, just to so that way. So we take this uh, whole uh, rotor down on, in the hub, basically comes off, and so it frees up our axle. So that's what we're going to be doing. All we've done is really uh, isolate these two wires so it doesn't get pulled in the process. We don't want that. Uh, so now. Remove this nut, which is just helping to hang there for a little bit. And uh, we'll bring our pull hub down here. This should free us up a little bit. So with this bungee cord, it's gonna help us from uh, preventing this whole thing from falling off on us. Okay, that's good. So reinforce, so we might need to put on this baby out. it. Punch it out all the way. In this case, we've got to be careful. We don't want to damage any of this part. That'll be a, in trouble. Plus, there's gears underneath there. You don't want to damage in the process. So, it's got to be careful when you. That should be coming up there. Okay. Close. All right. All 
water, the time has come. Put some light on. Now I have to pull this CD out, see if we can pry it out here. Prime bar. Just gotta make sure we don't damage our tire rod boot. Try a smaller one here. Try there you go. Oop. We got some leak going on. Here we go. See, it's not so bad, but I guess it's probably shut inside. Wow. Let's see what's going on there. Yeah, that's normal. Things are coming out, of course, because now it's open. All right, folks, uh, we just got the, uh, the CB out. And as you can see here, uh, it's been leaking quite a bit. Um, the reason behind that is that the, uh, the bull joint inside is pretty much shut in the process. So it shaking too much that way, of course, squeezes everything underneath and squeezes all those grease out. So that's basically what's making the sound. Uh, slight uh, vibration on this side as well slightly but not as much but this one here is pretty bad so yeah and there's the brand new axle that we have um no movement of course as you can see and we got our our, our new uh nut as well that goes with it in the process anyways uh yeah we'll install this in and then uh, we're ready to go it's, uh, time to put it in so let's free this up a little bit to get some room Stay, stay boy, don't fall off on me. Be gentle. until really it bottoms up there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There you go. Set these fours it in pretty good. So, well, in this case, let's put an anti seize. Bit of just a dub of nice layer of anti fleece here. So that way it's a lot easier to take it off next time. Don't want to do it on the nut, but 
Oh, there's a gear here, definitely. Should be good. It's gonna distribute that as we put it in there. Brake line all the way. All right, guys. Those are big nuts. The bolts now. Oh, yeah. Ready. A new bolt in. And we'll draw a spec on this baby. All right, folks, we are going to torque this as soon as we put the tires back in, but we're gonna fasten everything in first. We are targeting it at 242 uh, foot pound, and uh, for the two big bolts here are uh, 115 pounds to 120 pounds. So, anyways, guys, uh, we'll keep going. All right, let's put this back in. The brake line, fasten the brake line, and also uh, put this baby in. The sensor, just a snap on. And uh, we need to well, use the ratchet for that. There is a torque spec for this, but it was just a brace, so we're just going to tighten it as much as we can. Not the critical bolt for this purpose, so it's not holding anything but the line. All right, that's in, that's in. So, everything looks good. You just gotta get the other bolt back in place. Make sure it's aligned to get it back in. Just a little cleaning here. So there's no Keep it snug. We'll torque it uh, shortly here.
good. Yeah. Time to uh, put our uh, tires back in. Of course, we've got to get rid of our bungee cords. So for the nut itself, we just basically snugged it in as good as possible and uh, we'll drop it down and then we'll then torque it in that process. So for the axle nut that is. We could pretty much drop it down now and then we'll torque everything from here. We're gonna tighten our, our axle nut and our wheels, which is at uh, a 94 um, foot pound on the, um, the, 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 the nuts. And for the center, again, as, as I, I mentioned, it's 242. So uh, yeah, we're uh, good to go. There you go. Again, in the start pattern, you want to One final note, uh, we will have to pinch this in uh, to lock the bolt to make sure that it doesn't move anymore from here. We got a chisel or punch hole, punch hole here. And it's one time use. There you go. All good there. That shouldn't come off. That should prevent it from loosening up. As always, again, thank you for your support. Thank you for uh, your follow in the, in the channel. And uh, this is uh, quite a success. And so hopefully my brother-in-law here is happy for the job that we've done. Anyways, we'll close it here. Well, folks, we originally thought that we're gonna replace, uh, we needed to replace both sides of the uh, axle but we ended up uh, actually replacing only the driver's side. The passenger side is, is totally intact and uh, there's nothing wrong on the other side there. So the job was done and all we needed was the, uh, the, the driver's side, that is. So anyways.